Hey everyone. So as Art said, Danny Max here with Max Design. We're at the Marquee 2024, uh, showing off some of our newer products. We have some of our original ones here too, but let's show off the new ones. Uh, the Pro, you guys sort of saw already. You've seen it since PBX. We've sold actually a lot of them. We made a slight change to it. Our faceplate, we've put cutouts on the side now as well. Yeah, let me so you can use that. the other iPads. Right. Uh, what Apple released those new iPads and that's what kind of fueled us making some product changes. Um, so you can use either the older 10.9s or 11s. You could use the brand new 11 Air or the 11 Pro in this as well. Uh, DSLR camera. This is our duo. It uh, is a roamer, so you can pick it up. Actually, I have the lock screw in, mm -hmm. so you can lock this in place. Just take a look at yeah, that. Yeah, sure. That's pretty important. So right over here, um, I went to pick this up and it obviously didn't pick up. That's our lock screw. So if you're doing an event where you don't want someone to be able like a drop to, off, exactly, drop off would be great for that. Um, you do get a separate lock screw uh, that will go in there, um, and or if you happen to lose that, you can always just grab one from the body and it doesn't matter. And that's oh, what I, I didn't do. know that. That's, that's a good idea. It's the same screw. Okay. All right. So now this doubles as a roamer running on a battery. Yep. Um, it is <clears throat> like I said, fits the 10.9 or 11, and in terms of cameras. It'll fit the M50, the R50, and the R100. This is the R50 in here. And take a look at this. So this is our the pop-up flash on the camera. Mm -hmm. We have a hole that we cut in the back of the Mobile Max. So this flash actually diffuses through the front, and then you're getting a flash for your photo, as well as the LED lights changing. Right. Um, let's, let's take a photo. Want to yeah. do a photo session? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start photo. I think Art and I will be in the photo. There we go. Also, check out how wide angle it is because we're using the camera yeah, that's much better. in the landscape. See that flash fire? Actually came through. Yep. That's great. And look at the quality of that photo. So that comes out really, really clear. I'm ugly, but that's all right. Oh, still good. Art. And then you could text or email as, as usual. We're running Curator, but our lights are synced with five different softwares. Yep. Curator, Snap Pick, Touch Picks, Breeze, and Booth Dot Events. Cool. Um, let's move on to our next duo yeah. or our next Mobile Max. And I probably have the lock screw in place. I know I'm in this one. Okay, great. So you're used to the Mobile Maxes being oval in shape, like you saw on that uh, on the Pro over there. Yep. But as you know, Apple released those new iPads. New iPads have the camera on the long side or the landscape side. So could we have just turned our oval unit sideways? Yeah, but I didn't quite like how that looked, so we decided to go round with them. So now we have the round Mobile Max, or the round duo. This is our XL size. Uh, the XL fits the 12.9 or the 13 inch. Mm -hmm. We also have our intelligent LED pillars with this. These sync. Everything is wireless. Everything's running on batteries. And you want to do a photo session in this too, Art? Yeah, might as well. See how it just, turns white? You want to take, take a look it, at the back? Yeah, put the back's a very yeah, similar so setup. Yeah, so you right? can pick up the mobile max i'm not used to the round I'm used no to i know i'm not either <laughs> now, the other cool thing about it is the handle is removable so you can spin this handle so if you're using the landscape ipad when you have the camera up at the top you right. don't have to have the the handle awkward oh that's you can good just turn it so it's good for your wrists I exactly think. yep so you can use it in either way and you can decide once you get it or swap it out or change it okay so let's take a look we're going to take a photo session notice the lights on the side and the ring light i'm going to hit take photo it's connected via bluetooth Notice how everything just turned white. We're getting a ton of light for a photo. I don't think we need to do another photo session. No, we don't. But it's, yeah. it's so important that the, the lighting is so important with these, these iPad booths. Absolutely. And we're running Curator, so there's all kinds of different backgrounds and filters. Look, Art's a cat now. Oh, meow. Oh, my. Right, meow I am. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> you, you, um, you got one more. We got one more new product here, Still too. Still got the Mini. Still we got have the, the mini. mini. Mini hasn't changed, although there are cutouts on the side, so you can use the new iPads on it as well. Okay. The little um, mini so yeah, not on no, all right. Um, this is the our twist. So the twist we just released, and we're calling it the twist because if you're using it as an iPad only booth, you can actually pull the same faceplate out that you would use yep. and twist it. And if oh. you twist it, then your iPad is could be in portrait or landscape. That's where the twist comes That's from. That's where the twist comes okay, from. Okay, I was wondering because yep. I haven't been paying attention. Okay, all right, yeah. So definitely because you're able to twist that. If you have it set up for a DSLR camera, mm -hmm. you can't because it still needs to be landscape. You have to have a cutout for the camera up top. Correct. But a lot of people are going to use this booth and have ordered it specifically just for iPad only. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice alternative to our Curve Mini, like the one that's right over there. Right. This does not have a built-in strobe light. Okay. But you're going to get the flash rod with it, and then you can use whatever strobe you want. I have yeah. an Alien B, uh, Digibee 400 on here so with an umbrella. <clears throat> this is a lot smaller. I think I'm using the 800. 
And if it's the Alien B, it's a lot larger, too. The DigiB one is a lot more compact. Yeah. You want to look under the hood? Yes. Yeah, All right. Look. Come on around the back. We have a rear cutout on here running a Surface Pro, so we're actually using this as our print server with Curator. Okay. Um, this is an optional add-on. You could run a slideshow. You could even have a dual photo booth and have a photo mm -hmm. second photo booth on the back. I like this. So <laughs> I, you know, of course, I have a couple of your booths, and I did not get the the back plate that with the with the extra like uh, screen. Mm -hmm. I think that's just great, especially when you're looking at time in a booth yeah. because people are going to take pictures and they're still standing in that booth you know, getting mm -hmm. the prints or texting to them. Now they can come in the back. It's like having a separate iPad share sharing kiosk right yeah. on your booth. Yeah. Yep. Um, you can still get that for your booth. I know. I'm a yeah, big dummy. So. just haven't done it. <laughs> uh, let's open up the back. Okay. So there's a magnetic door. And inside, what's new is our new camera mounting mechanism oh, here. Okay. So we have an aluminum extrusion uh, with custom-made brackets. And these brackets are fully adjustable. So they can go up, down, left, right. Um, and this is our landscape bracket. Mm-hmm. You can loosen these screws, slide it over, move this one to the center, and this is our portrait bracket then. So now you can use this booth now in portrait um, orientation as well. So it's very flexible. Super flexible. So everything can be yep. twisting around, so to speak. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. I have it wired up um, how I like to do it. We have our Ape Labs coin lights in there. Mm -hmm. um, people are always asking about how do you set up a booth. So I wired this one the other day. Nice and Power clean. strip on the side. I tried to be as neat as I could. Yeah. Um, well, it's so important, especially if you've got, you know, a tenants and they're going to be sticking their hands in and out of there. The cleaner the inside of the booth is, the less chance of, yep. of wires getting moved around, getting bent. Yeah. And that way you, you don't have to worry about troubleshooting as much. Definitely. Definitely. This twist is also set up with a printer stand. You can order it either way. Mm -hmm. So you could order it just a single, uh, just the booth without the printer stand, or you can get the double base plate yeah. with that. Um, the entire thing also does fit right in this case next to it. Uh, we that's have everything. Case. That's Everyone everything case. in there, okay. including there's even room for your strobe light and your umbrella in there. So, so one that's great. shot. Yeah, we made sure there was enough room for that. Uh, Curve Mini that we saw here fits in a nice compact case. And then let me show you the cases real quick for these. Okay. Um, our duo setup here uh, with the XL and our pillars fits in three separate cases. Why do we do three separate cases? Well, the base is going to fit in one, and that's going to fit. I'll bring it up. Okay is going to fit in this case here. It's nice and compact, really small, has a rolling handle. Now, why didn't I just get a bigger case and put everything in it? What if you only book a roaming only event? You yep. don't need to bring everything with you. Yeah. So this is our new Mobile Max case mm -hmm. for our Flexes. And it's uh, even more compact than the ones we have for our Pro yep. or older Mobile Maxes. Really strong. There's a lot of custom foam in here. It's going to really protect your unit. Our pillars also fit in that Newer case we have there as well, um, if you wanted to get them. A lot of people ask, is it really necessary to get the pillars? No, they look cool. They add additional lighting, but our ring light provides all the lighting you would really need. Yeah, it does. And, and the extra lighting, and this is just for me personally, there is a big difference. There is a huge difference in the lighting. Um, yes, you're going to get enough light from the ring light, but if you add extra light, they're going to come much, much more crisper um, and clearer, the photos, especially when you've got a further distance, when you've got people who are a little bit further away from the booth, you need that extra lighting to make those pictures look better. So when you have situations like that, that's where I personally like having the pillars to really help make those pictures look good. Yeah. You can see they're all wireless, like we said. That's awesome. <clears throat> Danny, thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. All right.